evening barred from the U.S. Some even detained at airports, including right here in the Bay Area. Now protests, outrage, and backlash from President Trump's refugee ban. And good evening to you. I'm Juliette Goodrich. And I'm Brian Hackney. Along with anger, there's also a lot of confusion and worry over the ban this evening. Not long ago, Mr. Trump signed three new executive orders. None of them as contentious as the order that went into effect yesterday. Despite the aftermath, the mounting legal challenges, the president says everything is going smoothly. I mean, it's not a Muslim ban, but we were totally prepared. It's working out very nicely. You see it at the airports, you see it all over. It's working out very nicely. And we're going to have a very, very strict ban, and we're going to have extreme vetting, which we should have had in this country for many years. But not everyone agrees with Mr. Trump's statement that everything is working out nicely. Well, KPIX 5's Jackie Ward is live outside SFO, where hundreds of protesters are taking a stand against Mr. Trump's order. Jackie. Juliet, what we know for certain is that a 30-year-old Iranian man plus an elderly couple from Iraq, um, Iran, excuse me, were detained earlier and they are still here. Their family members are also still here. They're trying to get in touch with them and to be able to speak with them. Those people are just part of the reason many protesters showed up for the Muslim ban protest. Refugees free! Set the refugees free! Hundreds swarmed the arrivals terminal at SFO today. In fact, so many people showed up, the protests had to move outside. Protesters showed up for several different reasons. There were lawyers volunteering their services for those who were seeking answers for family members who live in one of the seven banned countries. And citizens who are in shock at the speed of which President Trump's executive orders are turning into action were here too. Keeping these poor refugees out of our country and sending back people with lawful visas. I just can't even imagine this is happening in our country. It's just incredibly unjust. It's un American, and we will not allow that to happen. Yesterday, an Afghanistan family detained here, but the lawyer representing them tells us that they have since been released. Attorneys at SFO who have been helping the family members of those who were detained tell us a family from Yemen is also still being held in addition to those three people we mentioned earlier. So the protest is far from over here. It's going until 6 tonight, so people are expected to stay long into the night here. At SFO, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. President Trump's executive order is also sparking big protests in New York. Dear, nearly a dozen people trying to enter the U.S. have been detained there. Wendy Gillette is at New York's JFK International Airport with more. What do we want? Justice! Protesters gathered outside JFK International Airport in New York and demanded the release of refugees blocked from entering the United States. Congressman Jerry Nadler said 12 people were detained here. Hamid Khalid Darwish, a former translator for the U.S. military in Iraq, was held for hours before being released. They did me as, as a, I break the rules or do something wrong. I'm surprised. President Donald Trump's executive order suspends the U.S. refugee admissions program for four months. There were reports of refugees being refused entry at airports in cities like San Francisco and Dallas. Lawyers scrambled to file lawsuits challenging the order. This really is an extraordinary measure, and it requires every ounce of opposition that we can muster. The protest here at JFK was organized within hours of reports that people were being detained here. Hundreds of demonstrators are vowing to continue voicing their anger. This is America. Everybody knows this is the country everybody strives to be like. Among other things, the executive order immediately keeps refugees from Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen from entering the United States for 90 days. I'm establishing new vetting measures to keep radical Islamic terrorists out of the United States of America. We don't want them here. Saturday, Mr. Trump signed a memorandum calling for the Joint Chief to create a plan in 30 days to defeat ISIS. Wendy Gillette for CBS News, New York. Iran is suggesting it may limit visas to American tourists in retaliation to Mr. Trump's policy. We will have much more on President Trump and the refugee ban coming up tonight at 6.